Hello YouTube and welcome back to your tutorials. Now in this tutorials we are going to be talking about how to edit and configure this list post. Like for example, if I add any post here, post, let me just say all posts. So I've already added a uh, post, I just deleted them. So I'm going to my trash can and then uh, I should be able to see all the posts that I've deleted. So I'm just going to check all of them, then click on bulk actions, restore and apply. So once it applies, let me refresh my site and see how it looks like. So it looks like this. So it's looking exactly the way Ninja Loaded's website looks like. So how did I achieve this? Well, that is what we, are want, we want to talk about in this tutorial. So go back to your Ninja Loaded website, then click on uh, Appearance, then you see your Edictor, click on it. So once you click on it and it loads, uh first it's going to look like this so now if what i need i want you to do is to just go to uh scroll your page down then go to template underscore blog template underscore blog look at it here so what i need to do is just click on it once it's load it's going to look like this now once your own load your own is going to look like this one here exactly like this so what i want you to do is to comment from here comment from here like after the div class is equals to blog item item just comment from the div class item image now this one here is responsible for the image that will display anytime you uh insert any post i want you to comment from this place from here like let me comment it right now so these are you comment put your less than uh exclamation mark uh double uh hyphen just put hyphen two times then you come down like this is the one i've already done look at how my own look like so you come down to the place that said uh post format post format and comment it post format that is this one here is responsible for the title and we want the title so you comment this place you can see this is the post format so what you need to do is to comment this place just before the after the div you put your comment these are you on comment so you put first uh double uh, i theme and your uh, greater than sign then the next thing you want to comment is all those comments that is related so the other one is is under post meta so what you need to do is to comment your post meta starting from here put your less than sign exclamation sign double i fin then scroll down to the end of the div which is this div here so you put your double i fin uh, greater than sign so you see now we commented this one this one here the post meta and we also comment uh this one here we also comment the post uh the post image so anyway let me show you the one i've already done so you can get it so i believe you you just pause this video and you check your uh anywhere you see div class item image big so you comment it from there leaving out uh div class block item you leave that one out you comment from div class image or item image coming from there to get post format get id then you leave out you leave out this one because this one is responsible for the title of the post it's just h2 href uh, permalink get title so you leave that one out then you comment another one from your class post meta from your post meta comment it to to where you see uh end of loop don't comment this one comment this one from here so anyways i if you don't understand what i'm saying or if you are still uh, finding it difficult i want you to pause the video try it for the second time then if you didn't get it send me drop me a comment 
and I'll be able to reply and also paste the code for you. After you've done it, refresh your page. Just go add a title. If you do it correctly, refresh your page. You'll be able to have something like this. But it won't be like this, actually. But it will not have the picture and the comment and the rest. The next thing we edited was the style shape. Now, look at this one here. If you look at the top, you find out that, you find out that we added a div class called what? Home widget. Home hyphen widget. So just pause this video. Look at the way this one is. This is the opening of the div, the closing of the div. Now inside it, we have a H1 class that is called list of posts without no space. Then we title it list of posts here. Yeah. We also close it. So if you open it newly, yours will be, you will be like this. So what I want you to do is just to come down. We shift that a little. Then add the div class. After you've done that, then you close it, the div here. So basically that is what you do. Then this place there, this place that is called blog on the uh, iframe heading, change it to list of posts without spaces. Then change this one to whatever you want. Then save it and continue. So after you've done that one, then go back to your CSS style. So how do you get your CSS style? You scroll down your page. The last one here probably will be your style sheet. The one you see style sheet. Click on it. Then when it loads, it will look like something like it will look something like this. So what you search for, this one you are going, we are going to use search. Just press your control F on your keyboard, then look for widgets dot put your period dot widget space h1 and it will take you to this place so what i want you to do is just pause this video copy this code from here from the dots now normal if you type this uh dot widget space h1 it will take you to this one here to this one so at the top of it just type dot home uh this one here is i theme widget h1 just the way it is then open your curly brace like this close it then inside it, you type border left 10 uh, pixel solid and this color code then the next thing i want you to notice is under this css style we commented this one the default one here we commented it so i can just take it out I can just remove this one now. So I can just take it. I've already commented it before, so I can just remove it. So also copy this one the way it is. The way it is. Also copy it. And just the way it is like this. So just the way it is. We have the font family, which is Francis 1, font size, color, text shadow, uh, text transform to uppercase, border layer, padding, margin, letter spacing, filter, font weight, and background. Do exactly the way it is. And also, don't forget to add this one. Then the next thing that we did is the blog item, item, blog item. Once you search it with your find, it will take you to this place. So once you are there, what I want you to do is to just pause this video do the same thing that is here, dot. Don't forget to put your dot because that dot means class. Dot block item. Then you do the same code here. Then also, I know in your own, you will not have this dot block item H2. You won't have it. So you put your comma here and then add this one. You can just copy from here and add it. Then add the H2. So after you add it, do exactly the same thing here, the same attributes, and then click on update. So what I want to advise you to do first is, once you are here, without, after you've not touched anything, or after you've not edited anything, copy the code, do your control A, and copy everything, copy everything, then go to a, a separate notepad and save it, so that if you make any mistake, you can always do what, copy it back. So that is the best advice I can give to you. 
So I believe you can do that. And if you get it successfully, thank God. If you didn't, drop me a comment. Let me know the area you are getting errors from. So after that, save it. Then write any post. And if you get it correctly, it will appear like this. So that is what we've uh, successfully achieved in these tutorials. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and drop me any comment or any question you have. I will be glad to answer them. Thanks.